I'm working in this building today. Pone Eco Dis, Aronas, and some modernized lifts. Where the landing direction arrows are active at all times, even with the lift not present. Probably not many people particularly care, except me. After a little exploring, I found this old lift. On the outside of the building, it looks like a modern day office block, but it's actually a refurbished old building. The problem is, this lift doesn't appear to work, which isn't exactly going to make a very interesting video. But how about this then? The passenger lift has been modernised, but they've left the goods lift alone. Let's see if this one works. This lift changes its appearance on the outside on the floors above. See if you notice what I'm referring to. I'll tell you what it is later.
As much as I'd like this to be the motor room, it's not. It's a fire exit at one end of the building where the sprinkler system is supplied from. The reason I'm down here is to have a look for possible access to the lift motor room, which can sometimes be accessed from the top of stairwells. I had a look around, but no luck this time. I did email the building manager, but it was probably a little short notice and I didn't receive a reply. Besides, the job I was working on in this building consumed the rest of my day. If you're interested in vintage machinery, then check out some of this old sprinkler equipment and stay tuned to the end of the video where I reveal the blatantly obvious difference of the appearance of the Marriott Scott lift comparing the ground and upper landings. But I didn't notice it until I edited the video. Okay, here is the answer. Check out the doors. Nice old style twin leaf doors on the ground, but all the others have shutters. Okay, so knowing this probably hasn't made your day, old lifts do have character and I like it. As usual, thanks for watching.